We've also got the BBC making a grovelling apology for what happened when they described the dam busters as infamous. We have for you a little example of what they said. Still to come here on Breakfast, 80 years after 19 Lancaster bombers took part in the infamous dam buster raids, tonight a special anniversary fly past. Now, that's Sally Nugent talking about a special Dam Busters anniversary show, uh, the infamous Dam Busters. The BBC's apology said, of course, we don't do this very often. It's an isolated incident, uh, and we're sorry that it happened. Well, have a look at this. Uh, plus, today marks 80 years since the infamous Dam Busters raid, and tonight we've got the keys to one of World War II's most secret rooms. Now, there's Jermaine Jenis saying infamous again about the Dam Busters. Now, you can only conclude, unless you were an idiot, that those two presenters were presented uh, with a piece of script which had the words infamous and Dam Busters in the same sentence. So it wasn't an isolated incident because it happened more than once. Isolated incidents are things that happen in isolation, i.e. once. They don't happen twice, they don't happen thrice, they do not happen more than that. So there we are, the BBC once again being not only completely and utterly unpatriotic, but even after that, in their apology, completely disingenuous. It reminds me uh, of the uh, apology made by the BBC business correspondent to Nigel Farage, which was so pompous uh, in its complete and utter sort of, you know, ridiculousness that it wasn't really an apology at all. But to make matters worse, it seems as though the BBC is also losing viewers at a massive rate, because it turns out that fewer people than ever are now watching the BBC. And who can blame them? Because they're watching talk TV and they're watching other things which are much more balanced, which are much more in line with the way people think, much less woke, and much less left, to be honest. As simple as that. So how much longer can the BBC continue to operate in its current form? How much longer can the licence fee be something which is imposed upon the great British public that they have to pay or face prison? How much longer can the BBC exist without being broken up, broken down and literally put in the bin? It's that simple.